This is BNN, the Bennington News Network. Hi, this is Jeff Grimshaw, and I'm at Mount Anthony Union High School at the Quantum Leap Exhibit Program Unit. Question for you, what do you do when you have a child or a bunch of children coming out of middle school or in high school and they're underperforming at a pretty pernicious level? Well, the Quantum Leap exhibit program was designed to re-engage them and they work all year long to sustain that re-engagement there are so many miraculous stories of rags to riches academic stories coming out of this unit it boggles the mind one of the highlights the culmination of the year is the end of year exhibit and this is when the students present they become teachers students become teachers and they present to a multitude of adults who come here for an evening of fun and learning and and surprises uh, the program is run by uh, Rick and Danielle Crozier it is also part of the Bennington College uh, uh, curriculum and that is run by Susan Sorbati so let's give you an inside look and meet the people and tell you exactly what goes on with this truly amazing program have you ever been to an exhibit before would you like an informational flyer <laughs> And this is also explaining like the history of the exhibit and what we're doing now. It's the culmination of the year. It's the presentation piece at the end. When they present to the public um, everything that they have learned throughout the year and they actually get the opportunity to teach the public rather than you know being the consumers of their education, they become the contributors to their community. This is a student engagement survey, survey that Reagan and I did and this is a copy of it. It's the reason that kids are creating work that is of the highest quality that they can produce. It's, uh, it's a performance, so they are put in a real-life position where they actually have to explain what they know to real people as opposed to, to their teacher or to their friend. They've got people walking into the to the room and they have to present what they have done for a whole semester or a whole year. Hello, would you like to try some RT? Hello, this is one of my projects, Tech Army. It gives it a sense of urgency and kind of a um, an academic rigor that you can't fake and you can't, you know, promote. Uh, in a classroom without having um, a real relevant performance and that's what it is. It's, uh, it's the equivalent of being a, a whole bunch of museum curators and your piece of the, of the museum is the part that you're responsible for. Hi, my name is Brown and this is my project on poverty in Uganda. When we host an exhibit event, we, um, we see members of the community, obviously, um, the general public, uh, parents, friends, um, relatives of the students um, make up a large percentage of, of the guest list. Hello, I am Ralph Thorne. This is a paper by Mackenzie Morse on the waterfalls of Nigeria, and it goes into the struggles for resources in Africa. We also did some research on how humans are used as a resource such as child soldiers being abused in military conflicts in Africa. It's open to the public and so we also see legislators and we see um, you know local town government, um, we see shop owners, um, oh my gosh, teachers of course, um, school board members, community members, just it's just so diverse. You know, you start with a project, and there has to be some sort of physical element to that project, and then you have the writing, and the researching, and the drafting of an academic paper, if you will, but then you have to make sure that it's edited multiple times, uh, some kids do, do many edits, to make sure that we get it to what we call exhibit quality, and then from that point you have to you have to prepare yourself to present it to other people. So it, it literally goes from, okay, this is just some 
assignment in my classroom for my teacher and I get a grade and now the grade it tells me I I got an A, a B, or a C to I am standing in front of my mom and she wants to know what I learned about this project or here is the school board member or here is my best friend or here is and they have to present what they know and it's, it turns into a performance assessment. Hi, I'm Shelly. And I'm Mackenzie. And this is our paper on modern day exploitation in Africa. Well, I think once they go through an exhibit, they obviously uh, have a better understanding of what it is. But I think it's a little bit, you know, I always compare it to, um, to preparation for putting on a show or a play or uh, a sport. You're going to practice. You're going to put in a lot of uh, hours. And then there's one night. And on that given night, you've got to show up and do your best. And you learn from what your performance was. The next time you come in and, and you do it, you're going to probably l apply some of the things that you learned from the previous event. Hello, I'm Chastity Lamatini, and this is my, one of the projects that I did on Saudi Arabia and the poverty in Saudi Arabia. Hi, I'm Reagan. This is one of my papers I did on poverty in Afghanistan. We returned to some of our, our earlier roots, so to speak. Uh, we made it more uh, of, a, uh, of a museum exhibit. Um, we had a lot of kids. So it was uh, hectic um, trying to, to prepare for it. Uh, I think it was different because of the interests of some of the kids. Hi, I'm Elman Barber, and this is my Poverty Studies paper on Thailand. Hi, I'm Shelly. And I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Chastity, and this is our paper on the mother of all goddesses, Saiba. Uh, we always had two exits. So no matter what path you went down, there were always two ways to, to go. A choice, a fork in the road. And this particular exhibit, we didn't have that fork in the road. It was just the maze, so that no part could be left unseen. And I think that was very effective. I'm Michael, and this is kitchen where you come get, you'd be getting here, come get coffee, and I'd tell you a little bit about the coffee back here, because Indonesia got its own, and then there's three others. Ethiopian, which got put in a bee by itself, which is from Africa. And there's Central American, where we put Nicaragua and Mexican <coughs> together. And there's also, for what, Asian. It was mostly a Colombian, like, roast. We had, uh, uh, for this particular uh, exhibit, we had a, a combination of first-year freshmen, we had upperclassmen, and we also had some contributions from college students that were in the, the Bennington College Sababa project, so. Hi, my name is Rodeo O'Brien, and I'm in a class called Mosaics that is, has a lot to do with the Quantum Leap program. And this is a mosaic I've recently done myself that's taken almost all year to do. You can see how I cut the glass in long pieces to make it look like that he has feathers. And I did many different designs on here. Uh, our beginning you know, goal every year is to get them to be re-engaged in their own education. That's our beginning goal we always see the aha moment. Um, with any student who completes the program, there is that aha moment. And so you can see that aha moment in students who um, have been with us for, you know, 30 days. Some students you might see it at the very, very end, and a student may not be successful with us, but at the end, they get that aha moment, and they're like, damn. Hi, I'm Brittany Pecor. And I'm Barney O'Brien. Um, we have worked all year on our watershed mapping project and it explains a lot about what a watershed is, uh, what a watershed is used for, how we can maintain our watersheds, and also why our watersheds are important. We also gave this pamphlet to explain to people anything that we didn't explain on here. Um, this pamphlet is all about basically what she said, what a watershed is. It even shows you what it is um, and what it looks like. Uh, these scripts on the posters are all um, basically based on PFOA contamination and filtration systems and such. And we got a few interviews in with um, 
experts on the topic. My name's Sierra, and this right here is a slideshow of the water filtration plant that we got emailed to us from Terrence Morse. And over here, we did water testing for dissolved solids from different towns. I'm Mickey. I'm John. This is the uh, hydropower, hydroelectric power unit that we did. This is basically like um, a dam that we created to like demonstrate how when you pull this plug, water generates through, which spins the turbine, which generates power up here that normally when it's turned on would turn on the light when you connect it. It works by when the water comes through the water intake, goes down to the turbine and spins it, which then generates electricity going through the generator and into uh, the transformers. In the uh, future, I hope we end up with a larger venue. If we can get a larger venue and more students and more school-wide contributions that follow the same type of format, I think it could turn into something that is uh, very impressive for the entire school. So. We hope that you have learned the way these kids have learned and everyone who attended the exhibit have learned. It's all about learning. It's all about confidence. It's all about re-engaging. Again, nothing short of miraculous. And it's a program that we at BNN hope uh, keeps going and going and going because we are seeing results. Kids who were left for lost going to college, now uh, uh, with high GPAs. Um, again, truly miraculous. Now for BNN, I'm Jeff Grimshaw. This is BNN, the Bennington News Network.